Well, hello everyone. Because I have no computer to make videos, I had to think of other things to do. And I realized I haven't gone to my P.O. box in a while to look at uh, fan mail, and well, there was a lot of it. And I figured, because I have time to kill, and really can't make anything, let's go ahead and read some of these. There's a lot of them. And do some preemptive screening because you know don't want another one of those got em images and luckily none of these were although that was really funny the first one is from blake and he sent me a card that just says cool with cool cat on it i like that but it also says other things <clears throat> hello pmc more i can't help sending you a letter i really look up to you and love watching your videos i'm in musical theater and the amount of confused looks i get when i reference one of your jokes is hilarious that also means I could show more people your amazing talent. This letter made me small, but it's coming from a fan with lots of love to send. From your coastal meme master, Blake. Approved by Chibi. That is precious. Thank you so much, Blake. All right. Let's move on to this yellow one right here. Come here, yellow one. This is from... Ardota? Ardota. Texas. And it says, hello. And there's a back thing. Oh, it's a joke. Okay, I'm going to read that one later. IPM, just wanted to send you a quick note of appreciation. I saw your Tumblr post videos, and they're amazing. I tend to work long hours on projects for work, so it's nice that I can... Sorry, it's just... It's a very interesting font, so I'm just trying to read it. That I can... That I can watch your videos to, inf to instant mood boosts. I don't have much to give, so please accept this dad joke on the back of the card. Keep up the great, keep up the great work. So let's read the dad joke. A sandwich walks into a bar and orders a drink. The bartender looks at him, refuses, and asks him to leave. The sandwich says, ask why. The bartender replies, I'm sorry, sir. We don't serve food here. <laughs> My own dad told this to me, and I'm proud. I love that one. Good job. That's a really good joke, actually. <laughs> All right, and this one I didn't open. This is from Kathleen, who I believe also has sent an email in the past. And it says, I know I just sent you a letter, but I made this and thought you might like it. Oh. Oh. Let's see what we got. Some cocoa. Oh! Ho, ho. It's fan art of God and Blake and Bartleby and Owen. That's I love it. Bartleby looks so cute and Owen looks like Travis. But then again, there is the normal Travis voice, so I can understand that. Thank you, Kathleen. That was really sweet. And this is from. I'm gonna start if the brace doesn't fit. It's anonymous. There's a little man on there. It's cute. And apparently, there's a bracelet inside. I want the bracelet. Oh God. Oh. I like that. It's cute colors. I always did like punk and black. Also, I know I've been getting a couple of videos, or a couple of people asking where the heck punk came from. It's one of the Tumblr videos. I believe it is number... Number 20, I think, is where punk shows up? I have to double check. Oh, it's me again. It's Pat. It's the letter. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. It's from Camilla? Camilla, okay. Hello, Patrick. It's been a while. I hope things have been going great. Um, in my... Oh. Things have been going great in my neck of the woods, and I hope the same with you. I want to thank you for reading my letter. It really made my day. I have always been a huge inspiration... You've always been a huge inspiration to me and my family. God, I suck at live reading. I love your content, and you really help me. Hope everything is going well. I see you on Discord. Uh, from see you soon, Camilla. Aww, yay! Thank you, Camilla. And the brace is really lovely. I'm gonna hold on to that one. And that's right, Camilla did actually send me the Captain Anonymous that time too. <clears throat> Next, this is from Leila or Layla. Layla did this. Okay. I'm just rambling. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 I love it. It's Donut Witch. Hey, it's cute. Friends for the Coffee Wizard. 
to work together and stop crime, maybe. I don't know. Well, Zamar took the time to draw a little witchy friend for your coffee wizard. <laughs> oh, nice! Her name is Dixie the Donut Witch. I hope you like her. Look at the day. It is from Purple Galaxy Poison at Dumbler.com. Hopefully you didn't get purged. I know a couple of my colleagues did. <clears throat> Next is from... T. Faust? T. Faust. There's a thing in there. Oh, wait. Never mind. This was the... I forgot. I left this in the mail. This is the Gotham image. <laughs> Whoops. Shows you how much my brain is working right now. Next is from Abby Gregory. Aww. Do, do, do. <laughs> oh my god. She sent me physical memes. First off, Intense Kitty. Positive SpongeBob. And... One of the change my mind things is at me. You're the sweetest and purest human I can think of, and genuinely make me smile every time I think of you. And you can't change my mind. I bet I could. Let's see what we got. Oh, this one's tight. Dear PM Seymour, hi. I have no clue if you'll get this, but my name is Abby, and I'm a big fan of yours. I love all the work you do to keep your audience entertained, and I really wanted to share my story with you. And thank you somehow was diagnosed with some severe mental illnesses that I don't want to share, completely understand. And I wanted to thank you. Your videos are an amazing coping mechanism for me and they help me get through my day. When I feel very depressed or anxious, I play your videos. They help keep me calm, relaxed, and even cheer me up a bit. I especially love your late night temper videos. They're hilarious. Your relaxation videos are truly relaxing, by the way. Please keep doing what you're doing. My sister and I think you're a big inspiration to us and my friends and I talk about your videos a lot. You are truly an extraordinary person with a great heart. You're amazing at what you do, and I hope this gets to you. Sending wholesomeness your way. Yes, there's a surprise for you in the envelope, which I did first. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was really sweet. Thank you, Abby. And every day gets better, trust me. All right, we're down to two more. This one's from Steven. Steven. Steven, come here. What you got? First off, Stephen drew a thing. Oh! It's Bro! It's Bro being Owen! You know, this is adorable. Look at them. Oh. Dear Mr. Seymour, I'm a big fan of your videos and I wanted to tell you just how much I enjoy them. Your talent as a voice actor arrivals many that I've heard. Your Tumblr thoughts are some of the most positive things I've ever heard and watching them always brightens my day. I only recently discovered your channel a few weeks ago and have watched a large quantity of your videos. Your guy creates things videos can always make me chuckle, even if I'm in the sourest of moods. After introducing your channel to many of my friends, they have said that they shall watch your new videos as they come as well to as come as they well as their very best to watch your old content. Your appreciation for puns is great, and I'm glad and I'm glad you see them for their true comedy genius. I suppose you could say that you see more of your potential than most. I get it. To make a long story short, keep being awesome and doing what you do. Someday I hope to see your name on the big screen for an animated feature. Fingers crossed. I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors and give you the utmost support as a fan can. Thank you for reading this letter and I hope you have a ding darn diddly great day. Sincerely and with the best wishes, Lily S. P.S. On the back of this letter, you'll find my interpretation of Owen and Bartleby. Oh, yeah, I saw that first again. It's, oh, it's adorable. And she sent me a meme. It's Booble Snoot. Isn't that precious? Now, the last letter. Ta -ta. It was also from. Oh, this is the first letter Kathleen sent. Why didn't I read this one first? I'm really not on my game today. I am so sorry. Alrighty. Last letter. Hey, Pat. I know it's been a while since my first letter, but I felt. I ought to write another one. First, I'll just acknowledge that my handwriting is bad, and I'm sorry in advance. It's okay, mine sucks too. How are things going with the gym stuff and the animals? Fun fact, thanks to Jess, I, cannot pronounce, I can't pronounce animals or anime properly anymore, so that's a thing. Way to go, Jess. Anyways, I'm now 19 years old, and I'll be graduating high school in the summer. Congratulations! Not really sure what to... Not really sure what to be doing after that, so any advice you may have will be appreciated, but also welcomed. But yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of. Other than that, I have joined my Discord last month. A big hi for Owen and Bartleby, and hope that I actually get around to getting my Tumblr app again. Hope life treats you like the kind, like the kind, magnificent person you are. From Kathleen or Maggie, whichever. I felt so bad that 
I read this one last, and especially because it wants life advice on it. And Kathleen, let me tell you something. Life is very unexpected. A lot of decisions you make at the age you are now, some of them may impact your future, some of them might not. It's one of those you want to play it smart, but you also don't want to restrain yourself from not enjoying doing the things you love doing. And that's really all I can think of. I know in 19 I was kind of in a bad place. I really wasn't doing the things I should have been doing, and frankly I was not the person that I am now. And lately it's one of those things when I did therapy, and before a therapist relieved me from her services just because she realized I had a huge change recently, I had to go and make amends for all the things that I did as a youth. And that is a, it's an eye opener when you realize just how much you could have done differently and you chose not to. And I think that's just one of the things we need to look at. When you're that young, it may not seem like much, but I can guarantee you in the long run, if, if there's a mess up you have, that you do something badly on, it might come back to bite you. So just be mindful and just treat everybody you cross paths with with kindness. And that's really all I got. So thank you guys for the letters. These were really sweet. And the P.O. Box is definitely going to be open for a little bit while longer because I do know uh, I'm moving to Texas soon, as some of you guys have noticed, uh, which means I need a new P.O. Box. And I will keep you guys posted when that happens. And I'm pretty sure I'll blast a video. So if you guys are in the process of sending letters, wait for a while. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and Merry Christmas, or Happy Holidays, whatever, which one you are celebrating, if, because I think Hanukkah's done, I think, um, I'm sorry, I just, I don't keep track of this stuff anymore, just because of work and everything, <laughs> take care guys, bye.